Hi, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, transposing today. Transposing, of course, is just taking some music and playing it in a different scale, essentially a different place on the piano. So I want to share something with you that you probably will recognize. This is from the Piano Adventures um, 2A lesson book, the light blue one. Ice cream and more ice cream are where we first experience transposing for the first time. So I'm going to blow this up a little bit. Okay. Now if you look at ice cream, you notice it's in C position. In other words, it's in the key of C major. So um, the right hand melody is in thirds, descending. So you play G, G, E, E, that distance is a third. Second measure, F, F, D, D, that's also a third. Third measure, E, E, C, C, that's a third. And then you end on a D, okay? The left hand, you play a fifth, a fourth, a third, and then a second. And you're all within the construct of the C five finger scale. Now remember that's how they got you to learn to read notes in the key of C. You're just confined to that C, D, E, F, G. Look at the second line here. Um, it's a little bit chromatic. You've got a G and then you go down a half step to F sharp. Then you have a G again and then you go down a whole step to F. The same pattern repeats in the next measure, but it's a sequence. You start on E, go down a half step to D sharp, E, go down a whole step to D, and then um, your right hand, uh, C, G, that's a fifth on top of a left hand third, your left hand or your right hand D, G melody on top of a left hand second, F and G, and then you end on a C chord gradually. You first play the C, with um, an E and a G in the bass, and then you play a C with a full C chord in the left hand. Now look at more ice cream. It's the exact same song, and um, you're just playing it in a different key. They've updated the pictures on this, by the way, in 2020, which is kind of fun. Um, the intervals are exactly the same. The opening intervals, remember how in the C um, position one, you started on G and you went down to E? Well, look at this. You start on a D and go down to B. So you're going down a third. The next measure you start on a note, go down a third, start on a note, go down a third. And then you end on the second note of that five finger scale, the A. The intervals are the same. Your left hand, fifth, fourth, third, second. The second line, um, you've got that little chromatic thing where you start on the D, go down a half step, go back to D, go down a whole step. So you can clearly see how they how they transpose this if you think about the intervals and the patterns that you're using. So the worksheet I'm gonna send you has two examples and there's no room to really transpose it on the page. Just take a separate sheet of staff paper. But I want you to pay a special attention to the intervals. Now in this example, there are no key signatures. Of course, um, the key of C up here has no sharps or flats. If you were transposing this in real life, um, you'd want to put the F sharp in the key signature with the G five finger scale version, even though there's no F sharp in the song because the key of G has the F sharp in it. So the two examples I'm sending you have sharps in it. Make sure that when you transpose to the directed key that you change the key signature and then double check your intervals. And I think if you think intervalically, um, the transposition will be actually really easy. Play it each time though. Play the original and then play the transposition and that'll help you make um, corrections and it'll help you notice intervals that you might have missed. Okay? Please let me know if you have any questions and um, I think that's it for me. We'll talk soon.